Hi, my name is Ethan Barron. I'm a fourth year studying biomedical and mechanical engineering at Colorado State University. Today I'm going to be demonstrating my MAC-307 final independent project, which is an automatically controlled robotic hand with gesture recognition. The main function of my project are these flex sensors, which track the relative bend of my individual fingers. These are then taken as analog inputs into the Arduino Mega and then translated into PWM signals to control these five MG90S servos. The position of the servo arms are mapped to my individual finger bend. And so then depending on the relative bend of my finger, the servo arm will move and translate its motion into the finger using a total of three four bar linkages per finger to make the finger either extend or contract. In total, there are 15 four bar linkages in the robotic hand section. The robotic hand, as well as the base here, are printed from PLA. There are two power supplies for this project, first being this 9-volt battery, which connects directly to the Arduino Mega, as well as a 9-volt AC power adapter. This adapter is then plugged into a power module that converts the 9 volts down to 5 volts, and this 5 volt powers the servos for the robotic hand. Once I plug in this 9-volt battery, a countdown will display on the LCD on when the device is operational. As you can see, the device is now ready to be operated. The visual outputs for this project are this 16 by two LCD display, as well as this RGB LED. The user manual inputs are these two normally open buttons. The red one is to toggle between the different modes, either being controlling the hand or the rock, paper, scissor game mode. And then once in the rock, paper, scissor game mode, the green button serves to start the game. There's also a potentiometer, a 10K potentiometer that controls the contrast of the LCD screen. The piezoelectric buzzer serves as the auditory output. Like I mentioned previously, the flex sensors on the glove serve as the automatic sensors for the project. Once I turn on the power module, you'll see that the robotic hand will begin to mirror my finger positions. As you can see, I have automatic control of individual finger motion, dual finger motion, and simultaneous control of all fingers at the same time. In order to produce smooth transitions of the fingers, the analog input signals from the flex sensors were passed through a filter to reduce noise and then also produce continuous and smooth transitions between the positions of the servo arm positions. Once I toggle between the mode, as you can see, uh, I'm instructed to click this button to toggle between the mode. You can see that we're now in the rock, paper, scissor game mode. And so to start the game, uh, I click the green button. And once I start the game, a number of things will happen. First, the LCD will display rock, paper, scissors, shoot. At the same time, the RGB LED will go from red, yellow to green, and the buzzer will display a countdown, or sorry, not display, it will produce a sound uh, of the countdown in corresponding to the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Then once it says shoot, the rock, paper, scissors function will run, and that function does a number of things. First, it will read the relative position uh, of the bends on my fingers to determine whether or not I played scissors, paper, or rock. It will then randomly assign the robotic hand to play rock, paper, or scissors, and then instruct the servos to emulate those same positions. Finally, it will compare what I played versus what the, the robot was randomly chosen to play to determine whether or not I won, lost, or there was a draw. I'll start the game mode now. First, I'll play scissors. I won as the robot played paper. One was added to the wind counter, a green LED was displayed, and the wind melody was also produced. I started again playing rock. I lost as the robot played paper. One was added to the loss counter, red LED, and a loss auditory output. I'll play one more time to get the paper. I lost again. As this is random, I will continue to play paper until I receive the draw function. I lost again. As you can see, the loss counter is continually going up. 
play. Keep going until I get the draw outcome. As you see, we both played paper. So one was added to the draw, a yellow LED, and a draw output was displayed. To clear the counter, you can simply toggle back to the controlling hand mode. As you can see, I now have complete control over the erotic hand. And then, as you can see, once I go back to the rock, paper, scissor mode, and I start a game, I'll play scissors. The draw, the display was cleared, but one was added from what I just received. Now, if the user is unable to produce a recognizable hand gesture, the system will instruct the user to try again. So I will just demonstrate that now. Please try again, and nothing was changed on the output display. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed learning more about my project. Have a good rest of your day.